What's up, Ready Up Live? Greenskill here to show you some more awesome gameplay from Halo the Master Chief Collection. This time, I'm going to show you Sierra 117. That's part of Halo 3. So Halo 3 is now 60 frames per second, 1080p, and it looks amazing. There's actually been a few little tweaks since the hardware can now support it, so you'll notice the big difference is lighting. As well as it's being smooth and you know, having more pixels, the lighting is is awesome. All right, start of the mission here. We get to show you a little bit of the environment, a little bit of walking around. Remember the first time I played this way back in the day? It was it was a magical, magical thing. Uh, hopefully you guys remember. If not, this is finally your chance to play this for the first time. You get to experience what I experienced so many years ago. But you get to see it now. So just this jungle environment, you know, so much more better lighting than we've ever seen in Halo. Uh, so that was always really cool. I remember that so specifically, and just running through here. I just love this this intro of, you know, here's how to jump. Here's a thing you gotta get over. Gotta learn to jump. Gotta figure that out. I like when games teach you that. And you know, if you really pay attention, you will actually notice those kind of things happening a lot in games. That, that they'll, you know, here's another one. You can't just get across this stuff without jumping. So it's teaching you the basics without forcing it in your face. Like, press A to jump! It's just, it's just letting, you, letting you know. So coming up here, you can see that waterfall, there's definitely something new. Some lighting, new lighting tricks, you can tell it looks a lot. The brights, I notice, are a lot brighter than they used to be. Lots of really cool bloom and stuff. It looks like just pretty good looking, honestly. It looks it looks like a brand new game. So I'm going the wrong direction here. I thought I could sneak up behind him, some clever jump trick, but I'm like, yeah, whatever, I'll go, I'll go back around. Let's, let's fight some grunts, let's do it, pop in the head. So if you guys saw my Halo 2 anniversary gameplay, I talked a lot about how unforgiving Halo CE and Halo 2 were. Where Halo 3, it makes a lot more sense. It's, it's you know, very good hitboxes. I notice headshots are a piece. A piece. A piece? A piece. A piece of cake. And <laughs> I always notice that I can actually get headshots from behind in Halo 3, where that's essentially impossible in the other games. It's way harder. For this game, it's you know, just very clear. Pop, pop. As you can see, I'm playing with Grunt Birthday Party on because it's fun. It's a very satisfying way. And I actually have the Fog Skull on, so I have no radar. Because, you know, I'm, I'm playing on normal right now. It's really not that important to have a radar. Just more cinematic feel, so you guys can really get a better taste of the game. I would do blind, but that's just crazy. Speaking of blind, that Silver Skull is right here, and you will get an achievement for picking this up. Here it is. So something I actually noticed is that he's a gold tooth. I actually had no idea. I needed to have it in 1080p, I guess, for me to realize that he had this, this swagger gold tooth on him. I want to be just like him someday, uh, dead, and having a gold tooth. So I'm going to melee some dudes at this. Alas, poor Yorick. I punch you in the face. And get out of here. Done. Got another. <laughs> oh, skulls. So all the hidden skulls, all the stuff you love are already here. The terminals are here. Uh, achievements for all of those things. So get hunting. If you don't know, you know figure it out. Ask some friends. Google it. You guys can find that stuff. You have the power. Back in the day, we didn't have that ability. So you can see some cave lighting. Definitely, definitely looks. It's very smooth. It's very, it's very nice. It's a nice thing. So I'm also playing with. Uh, I would have been your your daddy skull on. I would have been your daddy, and that uh, that makes a lot of dialogue that's less common appear more frequently. So you'll hear some grunts and some marines say some pretty funny things in this playthrough. Take him out. Done. All right, let's jump down. Arby's being all secretive there, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be the man. I gotta be the guy. I'm gonna do it right here. Here it is. Bam. Done. One. Two. Easy, easy headshots compared to other games. Once again, I, that's the biggest thing I noticed about Halo 3. Is it's you know it, when I die, other than the snipers, I'm like okay, I deserve that. Honestly, it's you know you you feel. You really feel when you're getting hit, what you're what you're hitting. It's it's very hitboxes are good, honestly. That's just a big thing. Big thing that I'm getting at here is it seems to be a very very well put together game, and it's something you don't even realize until you play them all back to back. You'll notice the differences in gameplay, the differences in walking speed, jump height, things like that are, are really interesting to to instantly one game then another jump in and out. So I always like to kill this guy while he's while he's distracted with marine it's easy. But I can't because he gets away. What are you doing? Okay, I'll kill all his friends first and then kill him. He's a sneaky big guy. I was gonna say little, but he's definitely not that small. Alright, Arby. Let's continue our quest. Let's continue our adventure. So co-op actually works pretty well. 
Um, it's it's very very smooth. Some online stuff is the smoothest. Any kind of multiplayer, the smoothest we've seen yet. So you guys remember there was a lot of campaign lag in in the older games and the original ones, and it looks like they for the most part fixed that. We'll see. It's gonna be a big update that's gonna really really hopefully change all that kind of stuff. So we'll see. But it's it seems rad. Do wielding some pistols here. It gets another game that I just don't do wield in enough. I always kind of forget, but it can be very useful. Like, these two pistols can just take a guy out, but it's just, I don't know, I never think about it. I always just rather hold, you know, a battle rifle or something like that and just get through it that way. So again, the lighting, very different. The lights and the darks, the contrast between them are, it is pretty great. Could you sacrifice me to complete your mission? Could you watch me die? Yes, Cortana. Cortana's in pain. She's in pain. We can see all her pixels. She seems very pixelated. Because we have that 1080p, I noticed. It seems it's so much smoother, so much crisper. These these annoying slow down messages from Cortana are maybe a little less annoying. But maybe not, because they're they're still very annoying. Like, man, what a gameplay mechanic. I like that they don't do that anymore. I hope they don't anymore. Put it on my screen, don't slow me down. Okie dokie, luckily we're on normal, so there's no snipers here up on the ridge. Those guys are a freaking nightmare to deal with. They will take you out. There's some sick two shot in here, double shot in with these 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 pistols, they're wonderful. I was used to run around in the water here, because I was like, what? You can this is one of the only places in Halo you can stand in the water. What's that all about? Why? I don't know. Chief can't swim, but it's shallow enough, I guess. It doesn't want to kill you. Why not? I have no idea. But you can kill the fish in there and they float away, and it's just a bunch of fun. We have fun here. I'm gonna double shot a bunch of these guys, and let's drop it and switch over to another weapon. The burr. The burr. Using some burr action in here. I want to make sure I showed you guys a bunch of different weapons in this in this playthrough. Nothing, not everything really, but just just a few different ones. So I'll be swapping out frequently, just to give you guys a taste. Come on, bro. Oh, dropped the bubble shields. Here we go. Bubble shields actually surprisingly good looking. If you see uh, how it kind of distorts reality here, it's 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 interesting. Let me show you a, a bubble shield party in a minute. Bubble shield party, prepare. Everybody, get you know, make sure you're wearing pants or don't, because bubble shield party is about to go down. Bubble shield one. At Bubble Shield 2. It's getting real right here. Alright, take out these brutes. Bubble Shield 3. Make it a party. Look. No Bubble Shield will ever be lonely again. Look, we... Nothing can penetrate this fortress. No girls allowed. This is my house. It's beautiful. Bubble Shields are always good looking, but... Man, do they look good in Halo 3. Well, the new Halo 3, that is. The new H3. So, another part, I'm lucky. I'm, again, I chose to play on normal here, so I didn't get bombarded by these snipers. Because, God, they are annoying. Dislike. Dislike the snipe. Sniper, no sniping. Sniper alley here. It's kind of annoying. Take these guys out. Halo 3, these are the really annoying enemies. Or Halo 1 and 2 have their, have their things, but 3 is... Ugh, snipers. So, here's an Easter egg. These fun guys, which would give you an achievement. I already got it, but... There you go. So a lot of uh, Easter eggs and stuff will give you achievements in this game, which I love. Really encourages everyone to check out all these fun hidden things that maybe you didn't, or maybe you never have, maybe you never played the game. But you're encouraged to check them out, you get an achievement, you can unlock some stuff, it's you wonderful. I'm all for that, because I'm, I'm big on that kind of stuff. Glitching, achievements, stuff like that. Alrighty, let's get in here. Time to fight. I'm running out into the open and I will not die. I am Master Chief. I can only be missing in action. It is impossible for me to die in action. It's just missing. No one will see me again. Like right right here, as you can see, I'm missing. I'm missing. So that didn't happen. That's not the real story. This, this is the real story. Right here, right here. This is what actually happened. So that was a lie. You're imagining that. That didn't happen. That's all you. That's your fault. Get it together. Because this is the true story of Master Chief right here. He was never missing in action right there. He is very alive right here. Just killing it. Killing it Sierra 117 style. That's me. That's Master Chief. Popping off some brute shots here. Just the lighting. You can tell there is an actual difference. The contrast being the, the big point about it. You can see the like shadows. The bright lights. It's purdy. It's smooth. I always like to run down here, grab this sniper rifle. As you guys know, I cannot snipe. That is not my forte. But I will try it for the sake of showing you guys the sniper rifle. What do you guys think about the sniper? Because everybody hates the Halo 4 sniper. Well, maybe not. You're crazy. A lot of people didn't like it. It's such a drastic change. But I love the look of it compared to even Halo 3 sniper. Even Halo 2 Anniversary sniper even looks way cooler. It has a lot more 
doodles and daddles all over the side of it, bits and bobs, boobs and bums all Sergeant over it, Major and they're really cool, and it's a very game. fancy looking sniper rifle, but this one just looks smooth and plain. What do you guys think? Leave in the comments. I like reading those things. Read the things. Running on through here, let's go save Johnson. Save Johnson. We got you, man. See how they bait their trap? I will help you spring it. Alright, time to move in. Get my snipes on. That guy's gonna run away. This guy's also gonna run away. My snipes are not quick enough to catch these running people, slash brutes, slash ape things. So make sure I... I'm not gonna waste a snipe on the grunt, because I don't even care. I don't even care. Who cares? And this guy's a bugger. I wish I had a battle rifle. I shouldn't have dropped my battle rifle. There was mistake number one. If I had that, everything here would be just grand. Just wonderful. But I don't. And I blame this grunt that I missed. Come on. Sidestepping. What are we doing here? Can't even take him out. The plasma pistol. There's another big change between Halo's plasma pistol. It's useless in Halo 3. I love them for, you know, for taking out vehicle and stuff. Um, taking out shields. But, you know, maybe, you know... Uh, <laughs> noob comboing guys, sure. But as a solo weapon, does not fly. Two and one and two, it actually works all right. You can totally use it standalone. It's like a pistol. It's w wonderful. It's fine. Hill threes is not the case. Not the case at all. I also I prefer the melees in um Halo three. Seems grunts go down a lot quicker. Like one hit almost always, which doesn't happen in Halo two or one. I don't think you know, for the most part the orange ones do. But oh, this didn't happen. Figment of your missing in action. False. FALSE! This is the true story of Master Chief right here. That didn't happen. It didn't happen, you know, this is like a flash sideways. This is like lost right now. Weird stuff. Alright, take out this huge group of guys coming in. Double kill! What's up? I'm a hero. Let's, uh, you know, put it in the montage. Don't put the deaths in the montage. Ignore that part. That didn't happen. Remember, that was you, so that would be, that would be your fault if you put that in the montage. And make sure I take this guy out before he swings too hard and let us steal his hammer. Let's take his hammer. Awesome. Gonna smash up everybody up in here. Or get shot up by everybody. It's okay. The smash is about to happen. One smash. One melee. And then we smash it up again. Boom! Range smash. Griff ball. Griff ball's gonna be fun. There we go. Okay, good. So there's actually that other skull up here on the top ledge. I'll show you in a minute, but I'm not gonna get it because it's. That takes a couple jumps and I'm lazy. I already did. I got the achievement, so no worries. So luckily that killed the brute. That would have been annoying if that didn't. I would just come smack him anyway, so I don't know why I'm too concerned about that. Let's save Johnson. Johnson! I got you, man. Holding it, baby. It's all over, baby. Yeah. What's up? What's up, J-Rod? It's, uh, it's right up there. That's where the skull normally is, the second skull here, so. When you play, you can go get it. Now you know. Prepare yourself. Brace yourself. Get comfortable. Get your skulls. Get the skulls on. So here we have this this annoying dropship. This part is, is pretty easy, actually. Just kind of uh, taking out the hordes of guys. You can actually throw a lot of grenades right as they drop in, so you can take them all out in one, one easy swoop. Swoop. There it is. There it is. Boom. Swoop. We swooped him. Swooped him good. And this guy. See, one hit melee seem, seem pretty solid. Ah, a few more grunts here. And then we should be in the clear. Except for that, uh... Something that's hitting me. What's hitting me? What is this? Let me stand on this wood. Well, that's, if that shot me, that would be bad. It's shooting me right now. That is bad. Oh, God. I've messed up greatly here. This is not good. Focus. Done. You did it. You did it. Proud of you. Proud of you, Pelican. Well done. Alrighty. There we go. Let's oh, and I got achievement. So, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Hapiorhi. <laughs> um, that's for looking at the actual other missing link, which is actually on the cliff side over there, out in the water. So I think it thought I looked directly at it. It must have swiped past it, and it thought I looked at it. I didn't get achievement for that, so. I have 
FF confirmed. Contact is Pelican Dropship, Kilo 23, over. Roger that. What's the word, Kilo 23? Sierra 117 on board. Request priority clearance, over. Deck's yours. Come on down. Awesome, awesome stuff. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Be sure to hit that like button. Much appreciated. Subscribe if you're not already, because I'm going to keep cranking out. You have no idea, guys. Halo content. You have no idea. It's insane. I have so much Halo content. It's going to be awesome. So if you plan on playing Halo, the Master Chief Collection, you do want to be subscribed, because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think, how fresh, how fresh this looks. And I will see you guys next video. There is much talk, and I have 